everyone, I hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel. So this week I thought I'd do a bit of a vlog style video because I've not done one for so long now and I've actually got so much going on this week. So I've got a few events, mainly skincare and hair care events which I will be taking you along with me. I'm actually going to one this afternoon so that's exciting. And then also just like a few wedding bits that I want to chat to you guys about. I've got my dress fitting on Wednesday so I'll take you with me to that but obviously won't be able to show anything and I just feel there's quite a lot going on this week so I thought it'd be a great chance for me to vlog and obviously I'll show you all my outfits that I'm wearing as well so as we all know Black Friday is around the corner and I know it can feel quite overwhelming so I really wanted to focus on one brand in particular a brand that you all know I love and that is Majuri. So Majuri's only sale of the year is happening this week and it runs from the 21st of November to the 28th of November. So during those days you'll receive 20% off your order with a minimum spend. I'll pop all the T's and C's below as well but I just thought this was a great time for you guys to look back on your wish list. If you've saved any pieces from my previous videos that you really love and you want to treat yourself to or you want to treat a loved one to then this is the time to mark those dates on your calendar. As you can see I'm wearing my croissant dome hoops here which are my daily earring. I wear them so much you'll know that already throughout my videos and I've also got some newer pieces to share with you today. Some pieces that are great for you to treat yourself to over the festive period or if you want to treat a loved one and I've got a lovely necklace to share with you that I've got for Lee as well. So I'm really excited to show you all the pieces that I've got today and I'm actually going to start with some jewellery boxes because this was something I was lacking in my jewellery wardrobe and I really needed something a little bit more sturdy to travel with. So as I said earlier, I'm actually going to an event today in Manchester and I'm staying over. So I'm going to be taking all my Majuri pieces with me so then I can plan my outfits when I get to the hotel with the specific pieces. And I picked this up from Majuri, which is a lovely little travel case. And this is perfect as a gift or to treat yourself to. It's the perfect size, especially Especially if you're going away for like a couple nights or a long weekend and it's in this gorgeous grain leather. So Majeri actually sell this in this lovely beige or a black and I just think it's the perfect size. It's got a gorgeous gold zipper and if you want to personalise it you do get an option of having three letters on there. So if it's for a gift for someone that might be a nice little touch to add in. So I've popped all the new in pieces in here to show you so I'll open it up now. And the great thing about this little case is that the interior suede is anti-tarnish. So it's going to protect all your favourite pieces. So we've got these little bendable hooks on here which are great. So it keeps everything in place. We've got the little earring band here and the ring band here. So these just pop off nice and easily. So then you can slide your rings on and off. And then I've got another one to show you. This one is the small jewellery box. And this one's great to take away with you if you're going for a week or longer because you can stack up your jewellery and it's still nice and small too. So I selected this one in the black and I've got all my Majuri jewellery in here. So we've got the little section for the rings. You can pop some more rings in there or your earrings then this just pops out like so and then we've got another compartment in there and then another compartment at the bottom so this bottom half is especially great for the herringbone necklace because it doesn't bend as easily as the other jewelry products so that is perfect to sit in there i just think that's such a great gift for someone or to treat yourself to as well and Majuri also do this in a larger size. If you feel like these are a little bit too small for you and you do have loads of jewellery, then I'll link the larger one below. Right then, back to jewellery and I'm going to start with my little travel pouch. And these are the newer pieces that I wanted to show you. So I'm going to start with this gorgeous necklace here. So from my videos, you'll know I own a lot of like chunky jewellery and really statement jewellery. And I was missing something that I could just wear every day and know that it will last. So I found this gorgeous baby curb chain necklace here. So this comes in a variety of sizes. I got this in the 16 to 18 inches and it's got three loops on it so you can adjust it to your desired size. And this comes in 14 karat gold. So this is going to be one of those pieces that's going to last you forever. It's not going to tarnish and it's great for everyday wear. It's also a great base for you to add any charms on that you want as well. So I've added this gorgeous cursive letter charm onto the chain which is also 14 karat gold and it's just so dainty and beautiful something like this as well is just the perfect gift it's so timeless and really personal so i'm very excited to wear that this week 
And the next piece that I've got to show you is this gorgeous oval chain charm bracelet. So you can either wear this on its own or you can add the Majiri charms to it. You could even add the letter charm to this too if you were to mix it up from the necklace. But this is a great size and again, another lovely gift idea. And this next piece is this lovely gold vermeil ear cuff. So this is great for you or a loved one who doesn't want to commit to any more piercings, but you still want to create that stacked earring look, then definitely go for the ear cuffs. So I'm thinking of getting some of these for my nieces for Christmas because they don't have their ear pierced, but they still like to wear jewellery. So this is a great option for them and it sits really nicely with the croissant dome hoops. Now onto the earrings. So I've got two pairs to show you, one which is gonna be great for everyday wear and another pair which are a little bit more glam and for the evening and they're just stunning. So these are the emerald cut topaz studs and I just love the shape of these. So these are a super affordable option as well. So these are 58 pounds and they're handcrafted in 18 karat gold vermeil and set with an emerald cut topaz gemstone. So these really are the perfect affordable gift in my opinion. You can't go wrong with these gorgeous earrings. Finally on the earrings, I'm so excited to wear these. I think I'm gonna wear these tonight. We've got the mini pearl topaz climber studs. How stunning are they? I absolutely love them. I really love the irregular shape of them and they're just perfect for evening wear and they'll take you right through into new year as well. So if you're looking for something a little bit more glam to invest in, then I definitely recommend these. So again, this is made in gold vermeil. We've got the freshwater pearl there and we've got the topaz gemstones. So I'll show you these on now, but I'll also style these tonight as well when I'm all dolled up and ready to go. But last but not least, I've also picked up something for Lee as well. So they do have a section for him on their website too. And I picked up this lovely chain. So Lee's always worn a silver chain as long as I've known him and he wanted something a little bit more robust and that's gonna last. So I picked up this titanium chain box necklace. It's a great length, it's 22 inches, and I just know it's something he'll actually wear every day and it's gonna last him a long time. So if you're looking for something for your brother, your dad, your boyfriend, and they wear jewelry, then this is definitely a great option. And this also comes in a bracelet too. So those were my top picks from a jewelry. I'll be styling those pieces throughout the video along with some of my older pieces too. So what I'll do is I'll link everything below and I'll split it up into price points as well. So Majuri also have this feature on their website. So if you're looking for something under hundred pounds, then you can look at that. Or if you're looking for something a little bit more premium between hundred and 300, then you can look in that section as well. So I'll list all of my selects in the description box. And the dates that the sale is on is from the 23rd of November to the 28th. Also, if you have a store nearby, that runs from the 21st to the 28th as well. So as I said earlier, you'll receive 20% off with a minimum order spend. I'll pop all the T's and C's and details below too, so you can look at that. So yeah, lots of lovely new bits in from Majuri. I'm going to be styling a lot of their pieces over the next few days in this vlog as well. And I'll show you what I'm wearing to the event as well. So once I get there, I'll vlog it all and take you with me. Hey guys, so I've arrived at King Street Townhouse. I'm gonna do a little room tour. So we've got this lovely little closet area here, which I will unpack later. And then into the dreamy room. This is so gorgeous. I've never stayed here before and I've always wanted to stay. I've got some lovely bits to show you. I'm gonna actually start in the bathroom. So here we go. Oh my God, look at this bathroom. It's so gorgeous. So we've got some lovely bits in here from Christoph Robin. And then if you haven't already heard of Grow Gorgeous, their thickening mask is incredible. We've got some more bits here. Then we've got this little beauty bag here and we've got a eyelash curler from Ico and the mascara. So this mascara is amazing. My mum actually uses this and my makeup artist for the wedding used it on my trial and it lasts all day. Absolutely love it. So that is a favorite for me. Then we've got some lovely bits from Illamasqua. This is a lipstick in shade Bang, which I'll show you later. Oh, some setting spray. I'm so happy I've literally just run out. So that is a great one to replace my other one. And then these two I've actually used before. I love the Hydra Veil. It just gives you the most flawless base for um, your makeup. And then we've got the Beyond Powder Highlighter too. Very excited to try those out this evening. 
Then we've got some gorgeous skincare bits from my, one of my favourite skincare brands, Pericone MD. So I've used all of these products before. I just haven't used this one, so I'm excited to try that. And then we've got this lovely silk eye mask from Espar. So I've already got one of these in blue and it is the softest eye mask I've ever used. And we've got, I think, these pyjamas or a dressing gown and this beautiful silk grey fabric. Then we've got a little bag there. And then, before I go into the next bit, I'll show you my outfit. So this is today's look. I've got this lovely coat from Dish and they've got some gorgeous winter wear out at the minute. I'm just loving everything on their website. And this is from H&M. The trousers are Pixie Market and the trainers are Viha. So nice and casual for today. Got a lovely little dressing gown there and how gorgeous is this bath area? Back to Espa, we've got all their gorgeous oils which I have used all of these tried and tested all beautiful then we've got the espa shampoo and conditioner the clarifying clay mask the restful bath milk the micellar cleanser and the positivity shower gel this again is another hero product for me i blooming love it this is honestly perfect to like wind down a few weeks before the wedding um I'm going to feel very zen after this. And also, this is such a good idea. I do this in my shower. So you put eucalyptus sleeves under running water and it smells incredible. Then we've got some body moisturiser, some body scrub and some tummy rub butter from Mio. So this one especially is actually really good if you're pregnant. If any pregnant ladies are out there, then check this out. We've got some body lotion from Amelia Ray. So yeah, that's the little room tour. We've been well and truly spoiled. There's so many amazing products in here that I can't wait to try. And also I'm going to test out the Illamasqua things for this evening as well. So I'll be getting a little bit more dolled up and I really love my outfit for this evening. So I'll show you that later too. But we're going to go to the terrace now and have canapes and Prosecco. What a dream this is to have on a Tuesday. So yeah, I'm going to unpack, then head up and I will take you up there with me. So I'm going to do a voiceover for this bit as it was very loud inside. So I just had a skincare consultation with Amelia Ray and the lovely lady there recommended that I use the products here as I have dehydrated skin. So I do have an oily T-zone which I used to mistake as me having oily skin but it's actually lacking moisture. So I've upped my water intake as well due to this. And also I've been recommended the clarifying mask to help tackle my hormonal acne. So I suffer with this monthly on my chest and back. So I'm really excited to try this out, especially before the wedding too. <laughs> So I'm back at the hotel room, just having my little mocktail that I've just made and I've had my hair done at Christoph Robin, so it's looking lovely and wavy. There's just so many products that I want to use in this room, so I'm going to have a shower and get ready for tonight. I've got about four hours to kill, so I'm going to do some work and just crack on really and enjoy this zen space that we've got. It's such a lovely event, so yeah, having a lovely time. And then once I'm ready, I'll show you my outfit for this evening. So I've just had a shower and my skin is feeling insane. So I used the Espa Optimal Pro Skin Cleanser. This is my favorite cleanser. I use it every day and it is a three in one. So it's a cleanser exfoliator and you can use it as a mask too. So it is definitely a fave of mine. And then I've just used this Positivity Bath and Shower Gel, which again is another favorite. It smells insane and it just lifts your mood. Hello guys, so I'm ready now and I'm gonna show you my outfit. You're gonna love this skirt. I'm obsessed. So I've just got my basic vest on top, my Arquette blazer and this dreamy skirt from Massimo Duty. How incredible is this? So it's a mini skirt and then we've got this gorgeous mesh overlay with these like black crystals that just shimmer. How amazing is this? And then I've popped my little sparkly heels on too. I feel like this is just going to come out for me every sparkle season and I'm just going to get so much wear out of it around the festive period too. 
think it's just a great option if you want to wear a mini but then you don't want to get too much leg out then you've got this gorgeous sparkly overlay. So I've come in the bathroom because the lighting's a little bit better. So this is tonight's look. I've tried the new Ico palette, which honestly is so pigmented, it is stunning. So I'll link that below. And then I've got my red carpet red lip on and my Majuri earrings, my Majuri rings bracelet and my little letter necklace there. I'm back now, I'm back in my room, it's 11 o'clock. I'm so tired, I'm such a granny. A lot of the young ones are still up there, but granny needs, needs a bed. Hello, I'm finally in bed, I'm so tired. It's just past midnight and I've just got a few more things to do on my phone for stories. Um, and then I'm gonna go to sleep, but this bed is so comfy, honestly, dreamy. So we've actually all got different schedules, which I didn't realise. And I'm not doing yoga tomorrow. I've got a spa treatment, which I'm very happy about. I've got breakfast at half eight, then I've got a massage at nine, then I can use the facilities um, until I need to head off to my wedding dress appointment. So that'll be lovely. I'll obviously have to shower after my massage because I don't want to be getting any oils and stuff on the dress. the showers here so they've got different settings on i think there's like the tropical rain the cold fog and tropical storm and then we've got the ice area here it honestly smells insane and then we've got the salt room in here so you i went in this earlier so you press this button and it releases a salt mist and it honestly smells it's like tea tree and mint, it's so beautiful. So yeah, it's gorgeous space and here I am sitting in it. It's so relaxing. And then you've got the sauna and steam room there. I won't be filming in that because you won't see anything. Hello loves, happy Thursday. Sorry I didn't vlog too much yesterday. It was a bit of a manic morning. I woke up late because my alarm didn't go off. So I missed the breakfast. So I was a bit like panicky and anxious, but I had my massage and it was dreamy as you will have seen on the video. And then I went to Knutsford and tried my dress on for the first time in the actual fabric and I cried. It was amazing. So yes, very excited for you guys to see that eventually in the next few weeks. So today I've actually got another event and I'm going with Alice. So I'm gonna go and meet her now for a brewing brunch before we head over but it's covering quite a few skincare brands one being CeraVe which is what I use as a pre-cleanse and I also use their moisturizer too so it's going to be good to speak to them and just get a few more tips and yeah I'm looking forward to that so I'm going to go in about 10 minutes but I thought I'd show you my outfit first this is the full look I've got my dish coat on again and my grey jumper from Weekend and Beyond this really cute little mini from Dish as well my dear Francis knee-high boots and oh my bag and my little camel palen bag very cute look today
thought I'd pop on a few weeks after going to the skincare event because I've just been trying a few of the products out and obviously some of the products like I said previously like CeraVe products I've been using for around a month now and I've just found that my skin has just improved so much using those products so I wanted to talk through my favourites from the event so I'm going to start with CeraVe and this is one of their newer products so this is the blemish control cleanser and I actually bought this from look fantastic because I was going to get the original cleanser and then I saw this one had come out and I thought with me getting a few like blemishes on the forehead and on my chest and back this would be perfect and it's brilliant it's great for sensitive skin and I was also chatting to the lady on the CeraVe counter and she said to use this as a body wash as well if you do suffer with acne so like I said previously I get it every month on my chest and on my back so I've been using this every day in the shower and it's cleared it right up I'm so happy I finally found something and I'm still waiting on the Amelia Rate cleanser and mask as well so I'll update you on that one and how I get on with that because I feel like that's going to help just as much so I'm loving this so far. It's one of my favourite cleansers and it's great that I can use it as a body wash too. So I highly recommend that. And I think it's like a tenner, which is great. So you might even get it cheaper in the Black Friday deals. So I'll link that below. And then to go along with it, I've been using this moisturising lotion. So I've been trialling a few moisturisers. Some have been a bit heavy, some have been a bit meh and kind of like not a nice consistency. But this one was recommended to me by my makeup artist who's doing my makeup for the wedding. And this is for dry to very dry skin. So as I have an oily T-zone, I do lack moisture in the skin. And this honestly has helped so much. With it being fragrance free, it's perfect for sensitive skin too. So yes, love that one. So along with the blemish cleanser, I then picked up the CeraVe blemish control gel too. So this is great for those target areas. If you break out on your face, chest or back, just pop some of this on. So this has got AHA and BHA in it. So three essential ceramides, glycolic and lactic acids. So this is gonna clear your skin right up. So that is a great one too. And then keeping on the topic of dehydrated skin, Alice recommended this to me and I've never used skin cuticles before. So this brand is on the pricier side. So again, it'd be great to have a look at the Black Friday deals and see what you can get but this is incredible. So this is a HA intensifier. So what it does is enhance the levels of hyaluronic acid in your skin. So this is great for people who have dry skin because it's just gonna amp those levels up and keep you really moisturized and glowy. And it also reduces the appearance of fine lines like crow's feet, if you get lines around here, and it just really refines the skin's complexion. So I was quite wary trying something new on the run up, on the run up to the wedding, but this has been incredible. So that is another favorite. So this one from La Roche-Posay is specifically formulated for sensitive skin. So this is a multitasking serum. So this is gonna even your skin tone, it's gonna brighten it and repair it too. So if you're someone who suffers with dark spots on your skin as well, this is going to help to improve that. And as this also has a hyaluronic acid in it, it's going to just add extra moisture into your skin. So those are my top five products from the skincare event that I went to. I'll link everything below and hopefully my skin's looking a little bit more glowy and radiant. So it's Friday today. I didn't pick my vlog camera up after the event because I was literally just working when I got home and it was just... A little bit boring to vlog but today i'm going to take you with me to get my hair done again apologies if i look tired i didn't sleep well again last night it's like three nights in a row now i feel exhausted i think my mind's just like working overtime with work and wedding but we're okay powering through get my hair cut and then we're gonna film a little reel as well i've got another event tonight very busy week um and it's a new opening in Manchester it's like a food and drinks kind of like similar to the food Harlan in Amsterdam so Lee's actually coming with me and we're gonna take Bruno to the dog sitters because we're doing a little trial for the wedding we've met a lovely lady who lives close by to us and she met him a couple of weeks ago and loves him so yeah we're doing that tonight which will be nice a cute little date night anyway I'm gonna take you to Melissa's salon and I'll see you in there Oh, 
and action. So, tell me, we'll start with the consultation. What can I do for you today? So, my wedding's in three weeks, as you know. So, I think I just want a little bit off, maybe an inch or a little bit less, so then it bounces back up. Yeah. And we'll just do a nice condition because it's in, I mean, from last time, you know, it stayed in, in good condition because so I've just been wearing it in this. Yeah. Um, yeah, the condition feels really nice. Yeah. Good. So we'll do a deep moisture treatment today because you're going to have your protein treatment when we do the colour. Yeah. And then we will take and wash it off and get it really nice and blood and chunky, but not too sharp so that when you wave it, it will bounce up. Okay, yeah. Hey darling, you've been a good boy. So after the cut and treatment, we then waved it with the GHD curved wand. I'll actually put my reel on YouTube that we did so you can see how we achieved this look. And then here we've used the Authentic Beauty Company texturizer and this is amazing for creating volume. Just look at the difference here. And then we repeated it on the other side. And I then changed into something a little bit more sparkly and popped on a red lip. I'm also sharing my look of the day on here too, so I kept it nice and simple and went for my black knit jumper dress, my tights, my knee-high boots and my camel coat. Hello guys, I'm back home now and a quick change. I've decided to take the red lip off and just redo my makeup and just go a little bit softer this eve. So me and Lee are going to an event, uh, it's called Exhibition, it's a new opening in Manchester. So I will take my phone with me. I probably won't take the camera because it's quite chunky um, to carry around, but I'll get some footage and show you inside and stuff. It sounds really cool. So yeah, I'm excited. This is tonight's look. So I've got this little waistcoat from Dish and I've actually tucked it in. And then I've got my Kate Spade velvet bag. I've got this Diamante belt from Zara, I think it is, a few years ago. And then I've actually put my velvet trousers on. So these are from Mango and they're really stretchy, so they're really comfortable. I was going to wear my suited ones, but I actually don't know where they are. And then I've got my um, court shoes on too. And I'm going to take my velvet blazer as well in case it gets cold. Hey loves, I hope you're well. So I've actually not vlogged for a few days now. Saturday night was a bit of a disaster and um, we got to the event and they just overbooked and it was just full and the queue was around the corner and we were already waiting like 20 minutes. So we thought, you know what, let's just go for dinner. We met up with Lee's sister and her boyfriend and then we ended up in Blue's Kitchen, which was so much fun. It was like a funk soul night that was on. So that was like, ended up being a really lovely evening. And then I've just completely forgot to pick up the camera. But today, me and Lee are gonna go to Tesco and get all the bits for the wedding favors. So I'll show you those. We're gonna do, our own version of s'mores and then we've got honey rum for the alcoholic favors so the reason we've chosen honey rum is because lee's mom and dad live in lanzarote and i don't know if i've mentioned on my previous vlogs but we were supposed to get married there originally back in 2020 so it's like a little nod 
to Lanza for that. So we're going to be doing that today. And also I've just rearranged the living room because Lee's sister's coming over from Oz, obviously for the wedding next week, next Friday, which is just crazy. I can't wait. I'm so excited. And we've moved, I've moved the chair from the window just to over there um, in preparation for when the tree comes. So we're going to go and pick it up on saturday friday or saturday i think and then i'm gonna just get the christmas box out this afternoon so i'll show you that and just decorate the room a little bit and the stairs and everything so just start making it festive i know it's november but i'm very excited for christmas and i just want to get the house like really christmasy before the wedding so then when we come back it's all really nice and festive and we can just relax enjoy the tree and put christmas films on hello we're home with the goods. So me and Lee are gonna put them all together now. Hello. Hello. So we've picked up these, what were they called Lee, the originals? Chocolate beans. Chocolate beans. Leibniz. Leibniz. Chocolate Leibniz. The originals um, are called that. But then we found these in Tesco for half the price and you get more chocolate on them. So we're gonna use those. And then all oh, the marshmallows are in there. So we're not going to actually package those up yet, but we've just done a test run of the s'mores and they taste delicious. And then this is the honey rum that we're going to decan into these little bottles that I've got. I got these. I can't even remember when. I think I got them off Amazon, didn't I? Can you yeah, remember? Years ago, like, no. Yeah, like three years ago. So they're quite big actually, but I feel like they're good for people to take home or they can do a good few shots while they're at the table. Then we've got these little corks and I've made some labels like clear labels with white writing to go on them but they've not arrived yet so i'll show you those when they come We've actually just run out of honey rum, so we need to get two more bottles to fill the rest. And then we're done, but they look really cute. And then once they've got the stickers on, I think they'll look fab. And I've popped them all in there for now. My Ganny boot box actually fit all of them in perfectly. And I've just popped the remaining ones in there. So I'll finish those off when we get some more honey rum. But now onto the Christmas decks. So this is my wreath that I'm going to put up next week. Oh, Bruno's joined us. Hello darling, oh he's a good boy, he's a good boy, he's wondering what's going on. Um, so this is from m and and I got this I think two years ago now and it's great, I love it. And this one also has little fairy lights in it so it looks really lovely in the evening. So I'll probably pop that up next weekend. So these are two little decorations that I got last year from Nest, I think it was. These are like wood effect paper stars. So this one's a big one and that's a little one and I just hang them up here because we don't have any artwork in the dining room yet. So I thought they'd be nice to hang there. And then when the table's done, it looks really nice with the little decorations there. So I will open those up in a bit and show you. <laughs> So this bit here, so there's actually a magnet on the inside, so you literally go like that and it's all done. How pretty are they? I love them. These are probably be really easy to make as well actually, I might have a go at making some. So that's the little one. I've decided to put my wreath just on the table for now and then at least it's out and looking festive. And then there's my little stars. Very cute. All my baubles and stuff in here, which are going to be ready for next next weekend. I love these little acorns. They're so cute. I think they were from Sainsbury's, you know, those ones. And then I've got another box of baubles with, like, my bigger ones in. And the rest are in there. I swear I have another box. I feel like it's in here somewhere. Oh, I think I have more in here, like the bigger baubles. Um, so that's that. And then I've got my lights for the tree. 
some like twine and all my card bits there. Oh, and these candles. So I got these last year and these are like my, my posh candles. So these only come out at Christmas and I only light them around Christmas, but they smell incredible. So this one, so it literally does smell like toffee apples and really sweet things it's really weird how it reminds me of like all the beautiful sweets from when we were younger so that is re if you like a really sweet smelling candle that's a good one for you this one is my absolute favorite so this literally smells of christmas trees it is just absolutely gorgeous yeah that is my favorite and honestly let me get this out because I feel like with this candle, even though I have um, lit it quite a few times last year, you don't really need to light it for the scent to come through because it's really, really strong. And the decoration on the candles are so cute as well. Honestly, it smells incredible. So that's going to go in my living room. The other one's red, so annoyingly it doesn't go with <laughs> you know what i'm like with my aesthetic and things being neutral um so that comes out on christmas day that one. Oh, and then i've got some paper baubles in here which i think i got from arquette if i remember rightly i think they are um i'll double check and link them but i got black and cream so these last year actually went on the table decoration in between the garland and they looked really nice so i think because we're having christmas at mum's this year i'll probably take those with me um to hers and then i can decorate the table all nice in the hallway i've got my garland out from the white company and then i've got my fir tree candle there which i've popped a little less spark candle inside and these cute little christmas trees are from sostrine green so if you have one near you definitely check them out because they do some gorgeous christmas decorations unfortunately sostrine green aren't online so that's a bit annoying but if you do have a shop then definitely check those out and then i've also got this cute little one i think this was from sostrine green as well so i like to pair like these two together bruno's treats there um so yeah i've i need to find the other one of that because i like to sit them next to each other so i think it'll be in that box somewhere but i've just popped the garland on my radiator cover in the hallway for now because then i'm going to take this to mum's and decorate the table and then i've got this other lovely garland which was actually from oh, i think it was sainsbury's or tesco one of the supermarkets and i've had it for years this one and i love it because it just gives a really lovely glow to the fireplace and it just feels really festive in here so i'm gonna pop my fireside candle there which i've already lit because i blooming love it this smells incredible so we're having this candle at the wedding as well it just smells of wood burning fires and it's just stunning so i'm gonna get another one for the other side there so that is a cute little garland that we've got and then i think that's about it for now and then i think this is more baubles yes they're my bigger baubles so i've actually just bought another one which i sneaked into the trolley let me show you so as you can tell my tree is neutral as well um and i popped to tesco before for, to do the food shop with lee and i sneaked this in there so i've got another little star to um to add to the collection so i'm really excited to do the tree next week so it's tuesday today i was meant to finish this vlog this morning but as you can see it's gone dark already outside so i've just been editing that today and i'm actually off for a facial later so that's going to be lovely in prep for the wedding but i thought i'd wrap the vlog up now because i've just been editing and we're already on 35 minutes which is quite long before i go though i thought i'd show you yesterday's outfits i realized i only showed you like the top half so i'm going to show you that now and i'll link everything below <laughs> guys i really hope you enjoyed this vlog this is probably going to be the last video now before the wedding so last time you're going to see me as nina lee kane before i'm nina lee jolly which is very exciting so i do have a video going live after the wedding which i am going to film this week and that's just going to be talking about 
all the details. A few people on Instagram have asked me some questions about budgets and stuff like that. So I'll be talking through my experience and everything like that. And then I'll be doing a separate video for my dress and shoes too. Because as you know, I've been working with Charlotte Mills and Emma Beaumont to design those. So I want to dedicate a separate video for that. But yeah, we'll be talking all things like stationery, DIY bits that I've done, I'll show you the bridesmaid dresses, all the gifts that I've put together as well. So yeah, this feels really strange it being the last video, but I will see you all in a few weeks when I'm back. I have lots of styling videos planned, but my brain just doesn't have capacity to think of any more styling videos right now. But I've written them down and they're all planned, so we'll be back with more styling videos, don't you worry. But yeah, take care guys and I'll see you in a few weeks.